Howdy everybody, Cub here, welcome back to Hermacraft. Last time we did a little bit of a base tour swap with XB Crafted. And so that was a fun episode, a lot of you guys really seem to enjoy that, so I'm going to be talking to some other hermits and we'll try to set up a few more base tours with them. And we also, during a live stream, got some more heads, some more mob heads. We got a ghast head right there, got a shulker head right there, you can see the little eye peeking out there. And we have a snowman skull right there. So we got those three during a live stream. Um, so be sure you follow me on Beam to be notified when I go live. Alright guys, so I'm all organized once again now. And two things I want to note. Number one, we are almost completely out of redstone. So you see there's no redstone in here. And if I get out my redstone box, you'll see there's very little redstone. Just 58 blocks of redstone. That's it. That's all we got. That's not going to cut it. That is not going to cut it. We're going to have to do some, uh, spend some time out at the witch farm or potentially go mining. Um, so we'll have to do that very, very soon. Also, we are desperately low on fuel. So if I look in here, we'll see, yeah, all of our furnaces have like three, four coal or thereabouts. So yeah, it just depends like how I put it in there, how much is in each furnace. But yeah, pretty much all these have, you know, between five and two coal. So yeah, we need to get some more fuel, basically, is what that means. So, you know, that means we need to set up very soon a blaze farm or maybe a wither skeleton farm to get a bunch of coal. So we'll have to do one of those two very soon. But today, guys, what we want to do is we want to get, or we want to gather, rather, some sand. Because we are totally out of sand down here. Well, almost totally out. We got 68 sand to our name. There's nothing in this shulker box anymore, so I can actually put this... Right in there. There we go. So, um, yeah, we're going to have to get a lot of sand because we need to smelt up a lot of glass for a future project. We have a little bit in here, but this is not even going to be even close. Like, we're going to need, like, 20... We're probably going to need, like, 50 times this amount of sand. Or glass, you know? So, yeah, we need an insane amount of sand. And as such, we're going to need a lot of really good shovels. So this is one of my shovels. I got another one. I think in here, that's pretty decent. Yeah, digging device, pretty decent, so we'll bust that guy out. Um, let's see, what else? We're going to need some more shovels, basically. So let me see if there's any good ones in here. There probably are. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Unbreaking, at least. And fortune, eh, that's not that great. Yeah, the fortune's not, not really that great. Alright, so let's uh, let's get these three. What we're going to do is we're going to go out and we're going to make use of our trading hall. So let me just get out my rockets here. I think, let's check on the farms. I think this one is actually shut down right now because it's overflowing. Yeah, it looks like, yep, it's disabled right now. Fantastic. That means it's producing a lot for us. Um, and so we should see all sugar cane. Yeah, baby. <laughs> and then the shulker boxes are not here. Where? Oh, I know where they're at. Yep, when XB was over here, I showed him the system, and so, all of our shulker boxes are actually already over here, so <laughs> that's fantastic news, yeah. So we got, yeah, all the shulker boxes are already out here, very, very good. Um, let me actually do this, I actually want to check the melon pumpkin farm, because I'm guessing that is also, whoops, already maxed out. Let's just run down here and check real quick, but we're going to do some trading here, guys. Finally, at long last. <laughs> so, let's see. I think this is full up with melons and pumpkins. The top chest is just starting to fill up. So the farm is still active right now. And our shulker boxes, yeah, are all down here. Very, very nice. Sweet! Okay. Awesome. So that is actually ready to... Uh, we're ready to ship those over. And actually, I need to move all this stuff over too, I think. Yeah, all these melons and pumpkins... From here needs to be moved over. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to see if we can get a good villager who has a decent shovel trade. I think we might have one up here right now. Um, I know we have some guys who sell like mending and stuff. So let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Mending. Yeah, this guy sells the mending. So we're going to need to definitely get. Yeah, we'll definitely get the mending. Let's see. What else do we need? We need. Silk touch, we don't necessarily need... Where's my infin Where's my unbreaking guy? Here we go. Unbreaking 3 for 25. This guy right here. So we'll need to make use of... This trade right here. Yeah. 
And so I think they already have unbreaking on them. Yeah, so do we have efficiency five is the question now. Efficiency... F I thought we did. Let me just take a minute to look here. <laughs> Maybe this guy? Yeah, this guy at the end. Efficiency five for 40. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what we're talking about right here. Yep, so we'll buy this from this guy because emeralds are going to be super cheap. All right, guys, so the plan is to trade away all of our shulker boxes full of materials here for emeralds and then to get some mending, some unbreaking, and some efficiency five books and put them all onto our shovels. So we should have a few books to make this happen here. So let's see here. I think probably in this chest. Yes, books. Sweet. All right, awesome. So let's put this away in there. Very nice. We got our books. Now all we need is the emeralds. So let's go ahead and do some trading and upgrade all of these shovels to the max level. Yep, this system is working pretty well, guys. So, yeah, anything we need is just right up here. And we can just simply get at this out of the boxes up here. Craft it in the crafting table right down here. And then once we're done, don't really have to think about what to do with the box because that is already predetermined. So all we got to do is just simply break the empty boxes. So this one is empty. This one is empty. This one is empty. That one still has a few left in there, but all we got to do is just plop these, boop, 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 right down there. And everything is now taken care of. Ha <laughs> ha! That is so cool. Alright, so, yeah, I'm going to do a bunch more trading here, get a bunch of emeralds, and then get those books and make those shovels happen. So, I'll be right back. So guys, on our shovels, we now have all the max level enchantments, so unbreaking 3, efficiency 5, and mending on every single one of these here. And we also got a bunch of emeralds, so we got several hundred blocks of emeralds, and we got a bunch of glass, a bunch of silk touch books, and a bunch of mending as well. And this is just a start. Yeah, now all the farms should be back up and running. And by the way, we can also buy glass. I didn't actually consider this, but we could buy glass from these librarians. I think the best trade you can get is this one, yeah. One emerald for five glass. So I actually did the math and we can almost buy, with these emeralds, we can buy 10,000 glass if we wanted to. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna go the sand route for now, but that's also a good option if uh, we don't wanna have to smelt the, the sand. So that's fantastic. But for right now, guys, we are gonna head out to the mining desert and oops, Rip Wren fell from a high place. But, um, yeah, we're going to head out to the mining desert, and we shall see what we can mine out there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so welcome to the mining desert. Uh, actually, the portal came out in a temple, which is kind of cool. And, yep, definitely, definitely the mining desert, I would say. And let's just see if we can find a good spot for, uh, for mining. I think we might have to go out quite far. I think most of this area, well, not this area in particular, but, like, this area over here has already been mined out. And so, let's just get up. Wow, we've actually dug out a lot of sand so far. Ho oh, ho, baby. Alright, uh, let's see. I think maybe, like, right here is a good spot for us to start out at. Yeah, I think right here is perfect. So, yep, I will start digging out here. And we'll get a whole bunch of sand.
Well, I feel good about this. So we cleared a huge area here, guys. Just let me show you. So from all the way over here, we cleared all this over to the river, over to this ocean over here. All this was cleared by us. All this. All of this area, all these hills right here were cleared. All of this hill was cleared by us. All this area here by this river. And about halfway over to this ocean over here. Um, so, yeah, pretty decent area. Pretty decent area. All the rest was already, this stuff over here was already cleared out. So, pretty happy with it. Pretty happy with it. Decent area cleared out. And let's get back to the base now and see how much we actually cleared. Alright guys, so at the end of our sand mining expedition here, we ended up with a total of, let's see, 112,000 plus sand blocks mined, which is fantastic. We also picked up the majority of those sand blocks, and all the sand is currently located in this chest right here. So all these shulker boxes are completely packed with sand. So, and also these are full, and we have some extra sand over here, I believe. Yeah, we got some extra sand over here. So... We're set on sand right now, and we will be using this sand in the next episode. Well, maybe not the next episode, but very very soon. Very soon. Uh, it all depends how much uh, wood I can collect, because we're also actually out of wood. But we're going to do something very, very special with this sand. And so, yeah, I'm very much looking forward to it. Uh, so that will hopefully be in some of the next episodes. But, right now, guys, you see I have a bunch of water-breathing potions on me. I got some slime blocks on me. I got some buckets on me, which we're actually going to come out here and get some uh, some milk from these mushrooms. So we're just going to stop on in here. There we go. Milk some mushrooms. Perfect. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Um, so what we're going to do right now, guys, we are actually going to go and take over an ocean monument. Now, you guys might be thinking... That we're going to go to the ocean monument near our base. But that is actually not the case. We're going to go to a different ocean monument. Because I want to get a Elder Guardian head. And I actually want to keep the Elder Guardians from our nearby monument. So. Uh, let's go ahead and. Let me see. What do we not need right here? We do not need all these Ender Pearls for sure. So let me just get these out of here. There we are. Perfect. I'm going to grab a boat as well. Perfect. All right, and so what we're going to do, we are actually going to go to an ocean monument and take over that ocean monument. And actually, I should probably, instead of getting my wings, I should probably also have, should probably also have my chest plate, just in case, just in case we run into some issues, because the elytra does not provide very good protection. So we'll we'll put these in here for now. I think that'll be a good spot for him. We'll also put away our silk shovel and also... Well, we might need our shovel for something, so... We'll keep that. We'll keep this. Perfect. Okay. We've got plenty of water breathing potions. I might just grab one or two more over here. But we're going to head out and find ourselves an ocean monument. Because I want to get, number one, an Elder Guardian head. Number two, some sponge. Because we are going to need it in the very near future. So let me go ahead and I will search for a ocean monument that is not the way to do it. We want to be flying for this, I think. <laughs> there we go. So we'll do this. We'll get our ender chest back. Perfect. So this is the one... This is the one near our base right here. This one. So this one we will be taking over shortly, but not today. As I think there are still... Are there still Elder, elder Guardians here? I'm pretty sure there are. Uh, but we'll, be, we'll be returning to that very, very soon. Let's see if there's one out this way that we can find that is a little bit uh, disconnected from our area. Just eat something while we're exploring here. There it is. Yeah, perfect. Let's take over this ocean monument right here. Might want to have like a little staging area over here on Sheep Island. Look at all these sheep on here. Cliff dwelling sheep right there. Alright, so yeah. Let's go in and we will... Uh, We'll take over this ocean monument. I'm going to put a ender chest right here and light this area up just a little bit. I should also probably sleep here, but I don't think I'm going to die. I'm going to risk it. I'm, going to, I'm just going to go right in. So we got our sword. We'll put this in the ender chest. Uh, let's put our fortune pick away in the ender chest. 
and everything else I think we might need at some point down there. Yep, okay, let's do it. Let's go in. Um, sweet, so let's grab our boat, and let's hightail in there. So the front entrance is going to be right in here, sort of like this, these lights sort of lead you in. So let's do this. I was trying to fly there, but obviously didn't, <laughs> didn't work out because we're not wearing the stuff. Do I have my chest plate on? Yeah, we do. Okay, cool. So the idea is we need to get inside as quickly as possible down here. And we're gonna about to get blasted. Yep, yep, yep. Oh boy. Yep. Blasted, blasted. Okay. Yep, there's the guardian. Good. Okay, now we're inside. Now we got some protection here. Uh, right. So. Let's see here. Oh yeah, I should probably also drink water breathing. That would be useful. Alright, let's find these Elder Guardians. Alright guys, so I found one Elder Guardian. He's right here. Yep, there he is. Come on, big boy. Come on, big boy. Oh, look at my armor. Doing its job. Very good. Alright, come here, guy. Boom. Oh, you gotta back up sometimes. You gotta break the line of sight. There we go. Reach forward and hit him. Gonna take him out. I need that. I need that Guardian head guy. Come on. There it is. Alright, sweet. Did I get the head? Looks like I did. Yes. Sweet. Okay, let's retreat here. There's a lot of guardians still around here. Definitely gotta heal up a little bit. Yeah, let's put down uh, some protection here. There we go. These slime blocks are great when you're taking over a monument because you can actually... You can actually break these even under mining fatigue. Just put this down here. There we go. Beautiful. Alright, so one down, two more to go. So guys, apologies about the dark footage at the Ocean Monument, and because of that I actually went ahead and cut out all the rest of the footage for the Ocean Monument. But, we did take over two, we got five Elder Guardian heads, as you can see right here. That's what they look like right there. Looking pretty cool. And you can actually wear some too, uh, if I go ahead and put this on my head. Yeah, that's what I look like. That's what I look like right there, very nice. <laughs> so. We are actually going to put these Elder Guardian heads right up here on our wall of heads right here. Add to the collection a little bit. And let me just get this off of here and we'll put the rest of these in the head chest right here. We also got 51 sponge, a bunch of prismarine and things. So these sponge will definitely help us to take over our own ocean monument, which is right outside of our base, right in this direction, just uh, beyond the... Uh, the area here um, so that will have to wait until next time guys because we want to set up a system that will extract the elder guardians from the temple and we want to store them for future use over here so we have to get that all set up so until next time guys I just want to say thank you all for watching please do leave a like on the video if you enjoyed and make sure to subscribe for more next time we'll hopefully doing some stuff out at this temple but until next time guys thanks so much for watching this has been Cobb Goodbye.